Hi everyone, it's Peter again, here for the second part of the continuity of care uh, demonstration for Isante Plus. For this demo, we'll be taking a look at an already existing patient called Rafael Lesai. This patient was created in one of the Isante Plus instances and has a bit of a made-up um, medical history. We will take a look at this patient and then import him in the second Isante Plus instance, and then uh, download the continuity of care document based on that patient's medical history and view it in this instance. We will then add a couple of additional um, items to the medical history and see those changes reflected when we download the CCD back in the instance that the patient was originally created. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, and like I said before, uh, if you want to run through this demo by yourself or want any more information, I will share this link uh, after the video. Okay, so we have Rafael created in um, isanteplusdemo.com, and we want to import the same patient in our second Isante Plus location. So we go to that location, go to register a patient, and start typing their name. We can see that the generated patient gets uh, found and that uh, they can be imported. So let's import Raphael. And now that the patient is imported, we can uh, get the continuity of care document for that patient by pressing the import button under the continuity of care section. When we press that button, all of the associated patient records um, from the master patient index are queried and then all the, those patients' medical histories that are saved in the shared health record are compiled into the CCD that gets downloaded. So if we go to the registration summary and now uh, view the continuity of care document that was uh, loaded um, a minute or so ago, we can see this patient's uh, medical history. Um, from encounters to allergies to different medications that either they have requested or are taking and other types of uh, medical conditions. On the bottom you can see um, vital signs that were recorded. So this is a um, this is a document based on the standard standard structure defined in the International Patient Summary Specifications. Okay, now that we can see view the patient's medical history in the second um, instance of Isante Plus, let's go back and add to this history. So let's find our patient again and maybe add a allergy. for aspirin. And maybe just another one for some fish. Now let's go back to the patient chart and start a visit for this patient. Maybe add a lab order for this visit. A CD4 count and um, maybe platelets and a red blood cell count. It's 
So we can see that um, this uh, lab request is submitted and we can end the patient's visit. And if we go back to the patient chart, we can see that the allergies show up here. Now let's see if this information um, gets loaded into the um, shared health record and provided to uh, the other Isante Plus instance in the form of a CCD. If it, we go to the original uh, Isante Plus location where the patient was created and where most of the medical history resides. We can go to the registration summary page and import the continuity of care document. And then view the document. And as you can see, um, the allergies that we added um, show up right here. You can see that the this most recent encounter, the Analyse de Lab, um, was is showing up in the encounters. And if we go to the results, we can see that um, we can see that there are two sets of um, lab results that were requested. Um, with this one being the most recent one. And that's it for the demonstration. Um, thanks for listening, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.